Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Levitt again, and today I think you're gonna really love what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw Lego minifigures. So go get a piece of paper, a pencil, something to color with, markers, crayons, colored pencils, watercolor paint, glue, and if you have a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube, get that too. All right, let's get started. This paper, I'm just using notebook paper and I'm gonna take one sheet of paper and I'm gonna fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Then open up that paper. You will have four rectangles. Using your pencil, you are going to take your pencil and you're going to start with the Lego head. So I've got these, you don't need to do this part, but I'm just gonna do it so you can see better. So I'm gonna come down about two fingers from the top and I'm gonna make a curved shape on the corners and I'm gonna leave the top part open. Next, I'm going to add two small lines for the neck and a line for the shoulders. Don't go too far past the head. If you wanna make it the same width of the head, that's fine. You're gonna come down just a little on a diagonal and then go across. We are making the torso of the minifigure. So we're working on this right now. Next, I'm going to add the waist. That's the part that actually clicks into the body then I'm going to add two squares. After I've done the two squares, I'm gonna add a second square underneath each of those squares. And then I'm going to add a small rectangle. Now I've finished the legs, I'm gonna move back up to the torso. I'm gonna to add a little hook to each side. This is going to be the arm. I'm gonna come down, right before I get to that waist, I cut over, right before I get to that waist, I cut over. Taking my paper, I'm gonna turn it sideways and I'm going to draw the letter C. Then I'm gonna flip my paper upside down and I'm going to do the letter U. Now this is the fun part coming up. So now I get to decide, is my person does he have a hat? Does he have hair? What does he look like? If he has a hat, I'm gonna leave the top open. If he doesn't have a hat, I'm going to just come back up a little further, curve around that to make a, a rectangle or a square, and then I'm gonna add that little notch where it clicks in. You can choose any kind of face. I'm gonna attach um, some links to some documents that you can see heads and hair um, and a, also a book called um, I'm No Fun and it's really a good book. So I'm gonna do a dot and a dot. I don't wanna do it too close, about a finger's width or a pinky's width down from the top and then whatever kind of smile I want to make. Now to make hair, I'm going to stop, I'm gonna put a dot to the side and I'm going to swoop the hair over and over. A couple of things you can do. You can do a crazy zigzag line for sticking up hair. I'm gonna do a male hair and then I'm gonna add an, a ponytail. So I'm gonna go to the center again, right there, and I'm gonna swoop over and just past that corner. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, over just past that corner. This is a male with his hair, and I'm gonna also add his eyes and a smile. Now to, to turn this into a female, I'm going to add, go to the center of the hair. I'm gonna swoop around and make a little kick out of a tail, come in two times and swoop back up. And there's my ponytail. If you wanna add eyelashes, you just do two little dots on each side and you can uh, accentuate these with necklaces, buttons, letters, whatever you want. 
my figure and now I'm going to cut it out. I also need a toilet paper tube and I just cut this in half. So here I go. Okay, so now I'm going to measure my figure up to my toilet paper tube. I do not want to go past this mark. So I'm going to put a little mark on there. So I've got that mark and now I'm going to place glue everywhere below that mark. Once I've done that, I can add my toilet paper tube. So I'm gonna put, make sure my toilet paper tube is on the bottom and then I roll my hands around like this. My tube is really round. I'm gonna squish it like that to make it flat. And there is my Lego man. So once you've drawn your Lego man, don't forget you can color them in. Once you've colored them in, if you want to, you can cut them out. Just color them in, cut them out, glue them to a toilet paper tube or, or part of a paper towel tube. And if you would love to do this, I love to do this, I added letters. So I've spelt the word Scott. You can move it around and see what other words you can come up with. Tot hot. What can you come up with? Think about all the words you could spell with your name or just leave them plain. That you can play with these, you can build with your blocks, so many things you can do with these Lego men. I hope you had fun today. Don't forget you just need paper, pencil, something to color with. If you want to get really fancy, glue and scissors and some sort of cardboard too. Have fun. Bye.